week later, No Limit Mellow would release Post 2 Pack. Now, if you remember Post 2 from Lakeside that had recently died that year. Yeah. About a week after that, on December 1st, 2014, Gucci from MTG would be killed. Again, presumably by an LMB. Now the next year, on January 6th, 2015, Lil C and Lil Joe from MTG would be killed. And this would be allegedly done by Mali and Merch Money. And basically, these two were leaving a convenience store when the gunman emerged from a nearby alley, shot one of them in the face, and the other one in the head. And yeah. Later that month, Jack Boy Boomane would release Just a Message Part 2. About two weeks later, on March 7, 2015, G Herbo would release Computers Freestyle. This ain't supposed to rep in NLMB, you know how it goes. And honestly, I'm just glad to see a computer's remix on here, man. I fuck with that beat. Five days after that, Bobo from ABK would release Pigs Hot. Later, GB Capital would release Computers Freestyle. Let's fucking go. Another one. Another one. You know, if a nigga play crazy, then I kill a dick. Yo, Anna, just give me my sentence. Send me to the gang. Cause Don Nitty, what it do? Don Nitty, DC. Tato been dropping like a fool. Been dropping, dropping, dropping. In LA with the two. I'm a monster with this for old nigga, not no hero. You niggas funny like SpongeBob and Squidward, Stitch and Lilo. Four days later, Smoke the Dawn and No Limit Mellow would release Enough Said, Part 2. The 30th is poking his hate and it's up in my coat in the size of a room. No limit, one fifty to get you, BK, I feel my spine from shooting. No limit, I'm so well, I've been trying to a pasta with kids, and you try to be up in the home. You niggas is pussy, you niggas is cunts. You call me broke like them niggas knew me. Free my love, you ain't met your tally, you're right by the soul. Fuck all these niggas that talk about they fool. The limit, my gay had a kid and I'm shooting. My boss ain't not cutting me up in the room. Next month, on April 9th, 2015, KTS Vaughn will release Street Life. KTS Vaughn will release Kill to Survive. It's 
to NLMB or Sircon City, which was a rival KTS set, and yeah, he would be killed. The next month, on July 11th, 2015, GB Capo would be killed, and Red Dot, it's literally known, he was arrested for it, he would actually even get off for it too. Here, let me just, Red Dot, along with other MTG members, would kill GB Capo, and yeah, literally when they were driving away from the murder, Red Dot would, like, nah, this is not alleged, no shit, no, no fuck shit, like, Red Dot would literally run over a toddler and kill them, he would be arrested for it, and he would be free, crazy. Two days later, EBK Juvie and No Limit Mellow would release Pistol Gang 2. Call up big bro, niggas better get low, hollers who got AVs, niggas don't want woe, mess up for the thigh bitch in the stove, told the bitch do it for the fame. What? What's my nigga bitch with me, I don't know some bees, this shit never be the same. Next month, on August 24th, 2015, Jack Boy Blue Man will release Computers, oh yeah, Computers Freestyle, Lil Herb Dis. Oh, 
me that's your ass pussy nigga, that's the hoodie brother. Now, three days after that, on September 9th, 2015, one eye from NLMB would go missing, and he still hasn't been found to this day, but it was presumed that he was killed by Black Mob, specifically Shotty Hit, and yeah. A month later, on October 12th, 2015, Bobo would release Run Up. Now the next year in 2016, on January 3rd, G Herbo and Lil Bibby would release Don't Worry. Kinda goes dumb, kinda goes dumb. After that, G Herbo would drop L's, basically telling the story. Thirteen, I'm in the books. I'm playing basketball. By sixteen, I'm cool with cooks and letting me ratchet in the slum. Two bedroom home, but mom's that's who was close to me. Pops was cool, but I was everything I was supposed to be. Bunch of shootouts, lucky that them bullets went around me. God was with me, jump straight in that water. It ain't drown me. About five months later. On June 27, 2016, Yogi from ABK would be killed, and it's presumed that he would be killed by Black Mob in retaliation for Scoob's death, and it was reported that he was shot multiple times in the face, and a lot of people speculate that it was actually done by Scoob's brother, Shooter Shells. The next month, on July 7, 2016, G Herbo would show out on his 2016 XXL freshman freestyle, repping his hood, and more specifically paying homage to his fallen homies Vito, Fazo, and Kobe. Rolling, smoking, let them all be kill them softly. I used to rap for fun, but now I'm getting guacamole. Niggas want to know me, bitches want to stop and blow me. In this act up, leave a nigga holy. Hallelujah, disrespect me, boy, I gotta do you. I ride with shooters, got them shooting, this the llama shooter. Don't Vito Fazo on me now, white folks on me now. My homies tatted on me now, told Kobe, hold me down. 244 for me, cap, that's when I'm rolling around. About two weeks later, Lil Gage from NLMB would be killed. And yeah, this was presumably done by MTG. He would uh, be walking along the street, and someone would walk up to him and shoot him in the head in front of his little brother. The next month, on August 4th, 2016, Lil Bibby would release You Ain't Gang. After that, she the shows would release mobsters. Now we went way beyond up the time way beyond the timeline. Um I'ma get more into um I'm gonna get more in depth with this war in uh the, the next video. I got a lot to do today, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna cut it here. Um, this war been going on since I really got inside a drill, and, um, it, it's just sad how much talent 